don't tie your future to fate. Welcome, whoever is watching this, teacher, classmates, ladies, gentlemen. <sighs> right now, you're going to watch my first video blog, so don't expect too much. <laughs> I'm Daniel Manzanilla, and this is my little friend, Wachi. He will accompany us today. Well, for today, I'm going to talk about a question that has taken away our sleep. Does fate exist? Hmm, what do you think, buddy? Hmm? You believe in fate? Yes? Well, I personally think fate does not exist. Even though it would be kind of epic and romantic, but that is why we are here. So let us begin. To start off, let's understand the difference between fate and destiny. First of all, let's talk about fate. In simple terms, is the natural way things need to happen with no chance of changing it or doing anything to change the results no matter how hard we try. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> On the other hand, destiny is a step-by-step -step in our daily lives. The things we do to shape our, shape our future, a path that we need to follow, but that we can change the direction if we do something for. Here I have some other friends that I'm going, to, they're gonna help me uh, explain to you better. This is Pikachu. This is our little cat. This is Evie, and here I have Joshi. Okay, we will talk about the ancient Greeks and Romans. Uh, they believed in fate. They had three goddesses in charge of forming and deciding the final life way for each living being. The names are, let's represent Clotho, Lachesis, and Atropos, okay? Also known as the three fates. They were goddess sisters, and the ancient Greeks related their work to making clothes. Clothes, yeah, clothes. <laughs> okay, Clotho was the one in charge of spinning the thread. Yeah, spinning the thread, okay. Uh, Lachesis, mesh, no, nah, sorry, this one's the, <laughs> Lachesis measured the string. And finally, uh, Atropus would share the string, okay, the clock. We can see a better representation here in this Im image I'm going to share to you. Let me search. Okay, here we are. Okay, so Lachesis is the one in the left side. She was measuring the string. She was like looking at it. On the right side, we got uh, Clotho, the one spinning the thread. You, you can see there in his hand, behind the hand, the thread. And finally, uh, Atropos, the dark one, the one in the middle, the scary one, okay? She's, she's in charge of the kind of scissors, and she decides where to cut the string, or in this case, where to end the life. Okay, now I'm going, uh, I want to share you a video of a famous Disney movie called Hercules, where we can see the three fates in an animated way, uh, but it's the same thing. Okay, here's it. Merlin, hold that mortal's thread of life good. Here, we can see Atropus with the scissors, Lichesis holding, measuring the string, and in the back we can see Clotho with the thread. There we go. And there is our life, taking away three things. Okay, now, on the contrary, we know that we can control and decide our destiny. So, if we talk about fate in our modern knowledge, in the actuality, here, right now, <laughs> we can say it's a bit silly. It would be crazy to think that in this enormous, vast universe full of possibilities, galaxies, dimensions, poof, things we are not capable of imagining. <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> we are attached to a supreme forward that decides our insignificant mortal lives. Hmm. Then questions start to emerge like, who's in charge of deciding our fate? Or what about religion? Okay, so some religions talk about destiny like a lie, 
because they put their God in charge of everything that happens in, in your life. So imagine this. Okay, uh, your cat got killed by a car. Uh, probably God had better plans for it. Well, imagine falling in love and then got a heartbreak. Well, maybe God makes you find you a better man or woman, just like fate. Okay, another example. Creation of human being. Ooh, that's a very dangerous topic. Religion establishes that God created everything as we know. So if it is represented different in religion, but at the end is the exact same thing. A supreme something deciding our future and we can do nothing to change that because it is meant that way and God wants it that way. Hmm. We cannot discredit fate completely. I'm not telling that the possibility I'm here talking to you in the camera in this exact same moment is infinite. First of all, the possibility of me being born, hmm, first of all. Then the possibility of my parents met each other. Plus they fell in love, plus a million of spermatozoids, plus the hospital I was born, plus my education and the people I met, plus the possibility I studied in tech, Oh well, et cetera, et cetera. It is way too much possibility to be just a chance, just a casualty. But I want you to invite you to walk out of the cave and think more beyond, beyond it. So I want to ask you a question. And with this, I close my first video blog. So what if it's not fate, but destiny? Maybe the capacity to form, change, and transform our future in, is in our hands. And it's neither fate nor just a casualty, but it is our destiny. We decided in a certain way to be here and we will decide where we want to be. For example, I decided to throw away both of them because I decided it's not fate. It's not uh, that something is written, that it was written that I was going to throw in. So maybe we can decide we are in charge, where we have the control. Thank you very much. I'm Daniel Manzanilla. And this was my first video blog. Thank you.